Today we have an exciting automation here for you using OpenAI GPT-3 and Discord. What we're going to do today is create a Discord bot that will listen to messages containing links to articles and then it's going to extract the content of those articles, summarize it through GPT-3 and return a message in Discord summarizing the article. I'm going to go over how to create that automation. So here are the steps. First we're going to have a trigger in Discord that listens to a new message being posted to a particular channel. Here I have it set up to listen to a channel called Explain Like I'm 5 Bot. And we're going to run the parse web page action. This is provided by Zapier in their web parser module. And we have it set up to listen to a message from Discord and look for the embeds URL that's in the message. What this does is it's going to get the HTML content of that web page and return the HTML, which then gets sent into our next action that is part of Formatter by Zapier. And what we're going to do is take that HTML content, run the transform of remove HTML tags, and pass that content along to our next action. And the following steps are all various text formatting, text reading, text parsing of that HTML content to make it easy to make a web request to OpenAI. So one of the first steps to prepare that text is to convert any characters to ASCII. And that's done through Formatter by Zapier. We're going to take the output of the last step, convert all characters to ASCII, then pass that along to the next step. It's going to take all quotes and replace them with an escape character in JSON, which is how we make the web request. You can't have these quotes without this backslash, otherwise the system doesn't understand what you're trying to request. And so we're going to escape these quotes, send that output to the next action, another formatter action, and we're going to remove any double spaces. Obviously you want to keep space in between each word, but any other white space you want to remove. And that's effectively what the following steps do, is that we remove the return character and the new line character, and also the remove tab. And so what this does is that if there's any line breaks, any weird spacing after the sentence, this removes it all. And we can then pass that along to the next action, which is truncating the length. And this is because there is a limit in OpenAI's API, at least in the free tier of the length of a message you can choose to summarize. And so it's about a little over 4,000, but we truncated right at 4,000. And finally, we create an action using webhooks by Zapier. And we set up a custom request. You can get this done through setting up a post request, but there's a particular field in the request that you make that won't work correctly um, until you do a custom request. So this is how we set up the action. It is a post request to this URL. Data pass through is false. And we go ahead and just create the request that we want to make in a JSON format. The things to consider here are really the model and the prompt. This is one of the recommended models you get in the OpenAI API playground. And how we're going to set this prompt up is we're going to have it summarize this article for an adult. And the content that we pass along is the output from our various Zapier formatted actions. And these are default values aside from max tokens, which we bump up to 2056. Uh, you can mess with that however you feel. 
Now you're going to need two headers, content type. It's going to be application slash JSON. And authorization, it's bearer followed by your API key, which you get from OpenAI. And finally, we send a message to the Discord that takes the response back from the last step and particularly the item you get in return when you make that call is this response and there's the choices and the text so what we're going to do is use that choices text object and that is our summarized content so let's try with an article here YouTube SEO, 10 ways to rank higher in 2022. So we get a summary back. It's pretty short to the point. Describes the overall content. You can mess around with some of the parameters of the API call to OpenAI to make this a little more full-fledged and summarize all the different tips that are mentioned in this article. Let's try one more. We're going to have GPT-3, summarize what GPT-3 is, and there you go. Quick and easy summary. You could possibly set up another automation that will send articles into your Discord channel, then just have it fully automatically summarize things, like maybe from an RSS feed. All right, thanks for watching, and we're going to be pushing out more GPT-3 automation content. So like and subscribe, and stay tuned.